Aburu Aboye Aboshishe Asori Wurifun. This is um Chief Ariago of Oyotunji Village and um giving a response and out into the community as we begin to look at the experience of Oyotunji Village and what it has done positively and the impact it has made on the community. One of the things that Oyotunji Village is very, very known for is being a place where people could go wherever you are at and whoever you are. That is almost like a sovereign place of community where you can uh, have a, a safe heaven by which you can be able to get yourself together. And uh, if you got to Oyotunji Village, people would say that you could go there and what they basically need is hands. So if you're good with your hands, and you can come and do something and you can be able to lean. If you were good writing or whatever you could do, whatever your skill was, if you got to Oyotunji Village, you could then um, be able to add that to the community. And I heard about a man who went to this particular village and uh, was there in the sovereign place of the American and being a place of where you could grow. And so my first experience there in Oyotunji Village was just that, going there uh, to grow. And it was a, a place where I grew exponentially. And then the experiences that I had there was amazing. And it, it, it lent itself for a lot of growth and development in throughout my life, as well as it also was an experience that I cherish as I became an adult and as well as my first um trip to Africa. So I was able to experience some of the things that I experienced in Oyotunji Village, but uh, Oyotunji Village was much more difficult than Africa could ever have been. Uh, so when people say, oh, did you go to Africa? I say, yeah, I went to Africa, but I had gone to Oyotunji first, to Africa and America, and that was a very, very powerful experience. So people are talking about the king and talking about this um, you know, there's an ongoing investigation. And so a lot of the leadership in the community, people are not making statements and not talking about what has happened to a fallen soldier. And so it is the idea of um, wanting to know what is the uh, going to, what is the response of the community? Well, people are doing the divinations. Divination is being performed and people are wondering and do, and the investigations are ongoing spiritually as well as physical. So the physical investigation where we have the in, uh, the police department as well as we have the Babalaos and the Anifas and the Ogboni are coming together to gather the information and wonder and what is the response and how do how do we move forward as a community. And so when we talk about uh, the the kings or we talk about the anyone in our community who will have in, in a leadership position and how does one respond to um, the passing of a, a leader and how does one uh, deal with it well it is an assault it is an assault and assassination has has been uh, placed on our community and an assassination uh, that has been set into motion it's a spiritual attack by the uh, ajagun and it is one of those things when we begin to look at enemies that are uh, so close we never can never think that enemies are so far away from us, that our enemies are close to us. And so it is that uh, we have to always wonder, how do we deal with enemies? How do we deal with the response of enemies in our community? How do we deal with those which are so close to us? And, and yet, in spite of that, can really uh, bring about such a disdain. Remember that anger leads to violence, leads to rage. Rage leads to violence, and violence leads to death. And it's in these type of uh, situations that we begin to wonder. So there's a response. The response is that, well, we haven't made a public dis uh, discovery of what has been then discovered. Uh, we are still in the investigative place where people are meeting, and meetings have to go. So we ask that the community please don't speculate. Don't uh, set the rumors out in the communities and, and hearing all the different things that our people are coming up with. The people are uncertain and want to know information, detailed information, which it's really the response of the um, the police and the the idea for the for the family and for the community, uh, the inner circle of the community, the Ogboni, those who are the chiefs, those who are the ones who have the, the great thinkers as what is the response? What is the next uh, place to go?
Healing is, uh, is so very vital and important for the community. At this very point in time, we know that the Akan community is being affected. We know that the Yoruba people, of course, and not only in the United States and in America, but throughout the world, we wonder what is the, the response when we have a soldier, a great foot soldier in our community who has fallen. And in the idea of Ifa, Ifa tells us that that the the life of when you see where not being responded, not being respected, not having the type of uh, association and not having the type of support is that Arumila one day woke up and he said that in the Odu of Ogbeate that he said, uh, told his wife, tell everyone that had died, tell everyone that have gone. And so when ended up happening is that uh, his when his wife went into the uh, to the marketplace and told that Rumi had passed and people were sad and they were all oh, mourning. But what was the mourning? The mourning wasn't mourning for the person that passed. It was mourning for their um, place. And so the mourning in this situation that it talks about the uh, the king is the mourning that we're dealing. Not so much about the community at large, because it's a, it's a loss. It's a great loss, a huge loss. It's an assassination. It is a something of disdain. And so we are being affected and needing community healing. And so we, not, we need an intervention. So we need those who are skilled at intervention to step up and to have a response to the community. And how do we respond to community? Well, I know first thing I did is I went to the sea. And I decided that sea water was going to have to touch my body and wash and bathe and said my prayers there. Uh, because we want to say, Oye ku, Oye ku, Iku ye, Lordy me, that the death, you know, when death comes, if we wanted to come and to take the con the substance or the con what's inside of the container, but do leave the container and let me be like the container. Let me be still here, alive and well. So, but what are we going to do if we were alive and well? How is our community? What is our response? What are we going to do to continue? So things are still in motion, still in line. Things do, one person does not uh, have the right and the, and the ability to do all the work and while others just sit back and watch and reap the benefits of the work. So it is with that sometimes the, the ancestors will take someone preemptively and we have to then look and respond to what is the the response well the response is that there's a space there's a vacancy you know there's a sign now that says there's a place for someone else to stand up instead and to do work because uh, as foot soldiers as people in the in the workhouse of of god of olodumare of olorun of Ed Dumari. When we look at those places, we have to wonder, is there a place now for someone else? Yes. Yeah, so the Araba has recently passed as well. The Araba, uh, um, Adedayo or Olugundudu, who was uh, being an acting uh, response to the, the need for um, leadership in the United States. And so he was the leader in uh, the islands in Puerto Rico. And so he has passed. And so now we look for this year and we see that there's been uh, quite a bit of our ancestors, our, our elders. And some of those people that in our community weren't even elders that are leaving. And so what is that doing that's leaving us empty, a void, leaving a void inside of it? But then also, how do now others come up to stand up and to, to fill the voids and make their voices heard and be able to show their talents and be able to do what is necessary for us to perpetuate and to go forward. When someone owns a crown or has a crown, the crown is nothing other than a job, a position of work. When someone has a position of chieftaincy, it is nothing than other than a position of work. It means that you have to work more, hard, work harder, and do more to be able to uplift the community and our community is in a, a need. And so we need people in the in not to be cheese, but we need people who are going to come with their skills in their hands and be able to take a hammer and put it together as we begin to not only build the Oyo 2 and G community, but to build communities like into that community, but also uh, the smaller houses. Because many sm small houses come together and make a big job small by putting their hands together. So many hands make a job very easy.
It's an African proverb. So we need to heal. And so there's healing that is necessary. Healing is necessary, so very vital and important. Um, as we begin to look at the work and the falling of Malcolm X, the falling of uh, Martin Luther King, the falling of uh, Sojourner Truth, or Sergeant Adifumi the first, uh, Nana Deni Zulu, Kamati Deni Zulu, of 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 uh, Harry Tugman, of um, Sir, uh, of Bookman, of um, Toussaint, whoever you want to, you know, we talk of Desoli. What are we going to do? Does the act? of one missing foot soldier mean that the revolution now has ended? Does it mean that what is our response to community? What is our response and what is our responsibility to ourselves? We need to come together to our, for ourselves. So you have to heal yourself. You have to go to your rituals. And so this is the powerfulness of ritual. And ritual comes into play in, at this point in time when we are at our worst or when we are in a place where we may not be our best. And we do the rituals. We do the rituals to uplift the spirits uh, for the ancestors to then uh, give guidance and the divine is to go into divine to give leadership and direction. We call upon Ogun to clear the way, or Chosi to show the direction, Eshu to open up the vehicle by the great communicator and the great messenger. So carry our messages, Eshu. Carry our messages so that the things that we are trying to do will be clear and, and conformed and concise. Because carrying a message is such a vital, important thing. So now we have someone, a message now has been sent. A message has been sent and is sent throughout the community that we have to wonder how and what we do and what do we think that is important. How do we even value our own personal lives? We have to wonder, is our life worthy of being saved? And whose life is is so vital that if it's taken, does the, does the mission stop? The answer is we all have to come and do our part. We need buildership. We need the leaders. We need your dollars. We need your energy, your hands. And if you don't, we need great minds in our community to use and talk about the history and the vitality and the strength of Africans in the diasporas as people who are Americans, who are nationals who are the ones who are born and bred in this community, this society, this world here. What are you going to do? And so now the response goes into the, into the Caribbean, Jamaica. We look at Trinidad and Tobago. We're looking at uh, the people down in, in the, the Bahamas, in, in Haiti, in Puerto Rico, Cuba. All are getting this news and it is tragic and so when we talk about the tragedy or we talk about something which is a tragedy how do we respond how do we get up and make our good work put our hands together and grab a hole of the mantelpiece there's a horse a wild horse that is out and, and how do we rein that horse in and how do we mount the horse and get up on the horse and ride it and that riding the, that horse, that wild mantelpiece of, of, of really existence is, the, is a metaphor for how do we get upon a job that needs to be done. The horse needs to be broken. How do we break the horse? How do we break it and ride it so that we can go uh, into the future? Africans come together, unite. Uh, the Lukumi community, I offer you uh, a response that you need to come together and to join accord with the um, those who are in the Sheshe community and those who are in Oyotunji community. And the, the world at large, Africans in ATR and African traditional religion, and whatever the, the religion may be, may you be, be worshiping the Fulter, the Meninkisi, the Kisi, Inkisis, uh, the, uh, the Abosun, uh, the Netara, the Gru, are you are in the community in which you are 
looking at the ancient community of the Kemet, whatever it is, this affects you. And it is time for us to continue to work on developmental uh, experiences, which we all can have and which we all can grow and develop our own personal communities. And remember that all of us are separated, but we all are one under the under umbrella of human beings. And so human beings have hurt and pain right now. And the response to hurt and pain is that we need those who are capable to come and to give their lending ear to how do we make a response and how do we heal and how do we continue to fight, to develop, to grow, to be, to continue to celebrate. And so whatever is good down in Oyotunji village, you have to wonder, is it good because you've put your work and you're developing your energy and, and making it happen? And so it's the, the, the work, again, of many hands that make a large task easy. So it's a call to action. It's a call to my, uh, um, to have people who are rumoring all the rumors. Please hold the rumors down. Let's find out what the response is. What is, let's find out what is the big picture and let's find out how we can help. Let's make this better than it has been. Ashe. This is Babalao Oluwali Abiyomi Fakunle Ade Tutu Ironkolo De Manyansa from Harlem, USA, bigger, better, and blacker than Disney World. A mad sunburst It's one of the prettiest places on the universe. And I'm coming to you live and well and ready to work.